Hello, everyone. It is such a pleasure to be facilitating this course for you. I want to get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and show you the course. So here we are on the homepage, and you will see that there are two announcements that I have already posted. And so these two announcements, uh, you will always see announcements show up on the on the homepage if they're new announcements. So here, one I have that I'm very, very interested in, and, and no one has signed up yet. I'm very interested in having a student to go through this course and offer suggestions to improve the course. So I'd like someone who's, you know, rather detail oriented that can go through each module as we as we go through the course and have some regular meetings with me to offer suggestions on how to make the course better from the student's perspective. And so I'm looking to make this course the best it can possibly be. And by doing so, you can earn service learning hours. So if you need some extra hours, it's a great way to go ahead and, um, and get those extra hours. All right, so let me move on with the course. Here's my introduction, introducing this meeting uh, that you're welcome to join. Uh, and here is a little bit about the course. So on the homepage, we have a mission for the course itself, the transition, the transformation of uh, ventures through strategic growth. And that's really what we're, we're scaling ventures. We want to grow companies strategically. So how do we go about doing that? Well, let's see. All right, so here is some information about me. I'm Dr. Anita Rose. Some of you already know me. I see some familiar names within the course and I'm excited to see you again. Uh, people that don't know me, I'm so happy to meet you. And here is my email address. However, reach me through this email address outside of this course. If you need a letter of recommendation or there's some other information outside the course that you would like to reach out to me. But within this course, anything associated with the course whatsoever, please use the Canvas inbox over here. Use that because then I can associate you with this course. I'm teaching many courses this semester. And if you just send me an email through the FGCU email system, it may get lost. And then it's difficult for me to place you within this course. Here, I know what course you're in. It's very easy for me to respond to you quickly. All right, so next, here's the start here, the course modules. Oh, incidentally, this course was approved as a high quality course through the online course design system at the university. But again, I wanna make it the, even better. I wanna make it the best it can be. And I don't have a student's perspective on this course. I would love to get that input. All right, so next, we go into, when we select the start here, we go into the modules. And so here we are with the first module, start here. This video will be in this section right here and that will be published. Here's a course overview, just explains the course and the grading and all sorts of other information within you know, what you'll be doing in the course. But I'm gonna go over the course with you as an overview now, so you have a good feel for it. There is an optional textbook information. You do not have to buy the textbook. There's some links there if you're interested in finding out more about it. Uh, there are some grammar resources and um, some top uh, grammar mistakes that you want to avoid, which I find kind of humorous, but it's also fun and, and uh, educational. And there are some university resources and support that may help you. So please go ahead and look into that a bit. All right, so next module is the acknowledgement module. And I ask you to, and I also put the time that you would expect to complete each module. It's probably not going to be 15 minutes, it'll probably be less, but I, I do it as a maximum. Uh, hopefully that will work. And if you find <laughs> that these the time is incorrect, please let me know because I'd like to make the, that change for you. All right, so next. Um, here, I want you to know that I've created a video lecture in every module. So the beginning of every single module, here when we go into module one, you can see professor's lecture, and I go over that particular module in case you have any questions. I go over the assignment in detail. I go over the slide deck and any other resources within the module. 
So hopefully you'll find that helpful. <clears throat> if anything is unclear, please, please reach out to me right away through Canvas inbox and let me know what you need clarity on. And I'm happy to, to, to get that worked out for you. So after you are acknowledging that I have a video in every module, and I hope you will review that video so that it will eliminate some questions you may have, then we have the honor code acknowledgement. And I'm just asking you to be an honorable student, don't cheat, uh, and that you'll be acknowledging that there. The learner information station, <clears throat> excuse me, is an area that I'm just looking for some basic information about you, but I'm also asking for your cell phone information, just in case I need to text you or call you about something crucially important. And it would only be as a last resort, you know, that perhaps I've tried reaching you through Canvas, I've tried reaching you through email, I can't get a hold of you. It's it's important that I get a hold of you. And so I will text you. If you don't respond to my text message, I will call you. <laughs> So I really want everyone to succeed in this course. It's very important to me and I know it's important to you as well. Next, we have the attendance verification survey. So here, uh, you, if you are applying for financial aid, you will need to complete that. If you've already completed this survey in another course this semester, just put in your FGCU user ID, and that would be sufficient. So then I know that you've already completed it. You don't necessarily have to complete it again in another course. All right, so now once we've done the acknowledgements, then we can go on to module one. I do have a video lecture that goes into module one, so I'm not really gonna go into the details of module one here, but I do wanna take you over to the syllabus. So if you select the syllabus, you will see, because I wanna go over the course schedule with you so you have a feel for the whole course. <clears throat> then you can go into each module at a time. All right, so what we just I'm just going to scroll down. There's just some basic information here. Uh, that's a contract between me and you. Uh, but let's go down to the actual schedule. So here we are. And what I've done, because this is an asynchronous course, I've been giving you some recommended work days for this course. Now, this course is also an accelerated course, right? So we are in an eight week, eight term course. So you will have double the work you would have in a full term 16 week course. So keep that in mind. If this course does not work for you, please drop this course before add drop so another student can come in and take your place in the course. All right, let's start here. So what we have is we have the, uh, we start off with, I ask you to just do this right away. Today is the first day of the course. Go into this specific information in uh, module one. So here's what we, we go over in module one. So review that and then complete the attendance survey, the acknowledgements. And you know, so here I have, well, do the acknowledgements tomorrow. You can do it today. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> And then the, there's a video introduction in module one. I ask you to do that too. And then there's a quiz associated with the reading in module one. And I ask you to complete that all by the 20th because we're going into module two right away. All right, so now when we go into module two, you can see what we're doing here. We're going into methods and challenges for growth. That is the, the overlying uh, area that we're working on here. We have methods of growth, we have uh, increasing revenue streams and selling to adjacent markets. We have uh, growing distribution in module four and uh, improving the sales funnel. And then in module five, we have customer retention. And these are three different case studies that we're working within each of these modules. Now, starting with module three, we're going to have teams working together in this course. I'm going to post an announcement. If there is anyone that would like to, uh, if you know some of your peers, the other students in the course, and you'd want to be teamed up with them, I ask you to just respond to my announcement and let me know the names of the people that you've already you know, confirmed with that you want to work in a team. No more than five people in a team. All right. So then um, I will 
create the teams before module three so you can start working in on these case studies. Now, the beauty of these case studies for these assignments, three through five, everyone is really doing individual work and compiling it all on one document. So everyone does all the work. It's not distributed. Everyone does everything. And then you can see where the strengths and weaknesses are within your team from this individual work that you've all compiled together uh, and then you can view each other's work. So you, when we go into the next section, which is designing for growth, and then we go into a, towards the final report, you will know now you will do teamwork and then you will work on each other's strengths and weaknesses. All right, so here uh, we have a holiday coming up, Labor Day, and I am very careful not to assign any assignments during any type of holidays or any time that we're off from uh, the, either off or the university's closed. So here um, we go into the next section, which is the, the beginning of the final report. Uh, all these sections here are just broken down. I explain how the final report template works in the module one video, and you can take a look at that and see how that's all broken down. But I also want you to be fully prepared in module one to start module six. And so typically one, at least one person within a team either has a family member, uh, a relative, a friend, uh, neighbor, someone that owns a small business that's been operating for more than a year. They are working full time in this endeavor. Incidentally, longer the longer they've been in business, the better because you have more opportunities to showcase your learning from this course in that final report. So if it's someone that's just been there a year, try to find something a little bit longer than a year if possible, but a year is a cutoff and they need to have a website, a working website. So they're working on it full time. They've uh, they're been at least a year and can it be a publicly traded company? Yes, we have done that. So we make some exceptions here and there, but we those are the basics that we want to try to work from. And if you have a company that falls outside that criteria, just message me and let me know and then we'll make a decision as to whether you can go forward with that company or not. It may not be a company that anyone in the team owns. So, because that defeats the purpose of you're working, you're, then you would just be working on your own company. All right, so we need to work on someone else's company. Plus you're not working on a full time, you're in school. So that doesn't apply. All right, so here we're going to break down each section of this final report in these components, which makes it very manageable. Now I've taught this course in the summer, six weeks, and it has still become manageable for students. So don't feel, oh my goodness, this is overwhelming. I'm never gonna, going to be able to do it. You'll be able to do it. You will, and I've never had a student tell me they cannot get it done, uh, all right? I mean, things come up in life and sometimes a student has to drop a course, but typically, uh, we don't have issues with the amount of work in the course. So that has not been a problem. And the teams have been working very well together, supporting each other. And so I don't expect an issue to occur. All right. But if something should come up, please message me and then we can we can go from there. So once we've completed the whole uh, this up to the uh, draft experiment section, then we're going to go into the uh, the entrepreneurial organization itself. And we're going to talk about some other areas and go into those areas. The final report is not due until the end of September. And then after we complete the final report and that's done, then we go into creating a slide deck and then our team will do a final presentation. Now, I don't expect everyone to get together all at once and do this final presentation. There are ways that each can do their own component and blend it together for one seamless presentation. Wonderful if you can all get together and do it, but it's certainly not expected in an asynchronous online course. Uh, incidentally, one thing I wanna to mention to you about the 
drafts. You can see here when we're doing this report, we have several drafts that we are going to do. Here's the draft report introduction section. And then we also have the draft strategy section. Where we go into the, um, the draft piece section and then the draft experiment section. All these drafts can be submitted more than one time. So you submit it. And if I provide you with feedback and I'd like you to make changes to it, you can resubmit it. And then then in, in the first two, uh, we have, they are uh, complete or incomplete. And then we go into a grading policy after that, because I think you've, you will have gotten the hang of it at that point. Uh, so I find this really helpful and students appreciate it that they're able to resubmit an assignment and it doesn't affect their grade. I, I want you to take the grade out of your, your thinking here. I want you just to focus on the course and learn as much as you can from the course and enjoy the experience of working with a real company. So that's a lot of fun and uh, students have reported they've really enjoyed this course. It kind of pulls things together from other courses too, which is helpful. But here, all the drafts, you can submit it more than once, you can submit it five times if you want. But once you've submitted the final report, you may not go back and submit another draft. That's The drafts are closed at that point. But please go ahead and submit the final, the, all the drafts and so that you can obtain the highest grade that you can get. And then you have the best report that you have. And then when you are finally done with all the drafts, submit the final report at that point, even if the uh, final report is not done on time. Let's say you're, you're hung up on maybe the, uh, maybe even just the strategy report or the, the P's report and you're hung up in there for a little while and it's taking you longer to complete that, please do not move on to the next draft until that draft is completed, even if it's late, because I will not penalize you if it's late for any of the drafts or even the final report because the, the final report is so important in this course that I don't penalize you for that. Once you, but once you've handed in that, submitted that final report, no more drafts can be submitted, as I mentioned. Okay, so then we go down to the presentation. So at that point, uh, you have completed your final presentation. You will, uh, then we have a final exam. And the final exam during the, the course, and I mentioned this in module one, you will have a final exam review sheet that you will go over. And I suggest that you populate that as you go through each module to provide information and then submit that final review uh, exam review sheet towards the end of the course, then take the final exam. You can use that sheet as a guide to help you during that final exam. It's very useful and I hope you will agree. Uh, I mentioned also in module one that there is a honors component to this course. You do not need to be an honors student. It can be any student within the course. If you would like to earn honors credit for this course, that means that when you receive your transcript, this course will show as an honors course. So it's, it has a lot of impact, especially if you um, want to go into a field related to strategy and growth that you might find very helpful uh, to be able to have that and showcase that. If you want to go to grad school, well, then you have that as a very good component towards strategy to be able to get into a grad school, having this as an honors course. Uh, or even it, as uh, the extra learning that you gain from the honors component to help you in your own business. So we have that as well. And then of course, in that final uh, component in module 14, we have a final discussion and then we have the SPOI for some little extra credit. All right, so I think that pretty much goes over the whole course. You may look at this and say, oh my goodness, I'm working every single day. Well, what I have here is Yes, you have today. And then you can see that I have uh, assignments due tomorrow. Then we go back in on the 21st. Now I have from the 21st to the 23rd. That doesn't mean you need to be in here every single day between that time. 
this is the recommended times that I suggest you work in the course. If you go in here on the 21st and you want to complete this, then go ahead and complete it on the 21st. You don't have to wait till the 23rd, of course. Uh, but if you can't get in here till the 23rd, then that's fine too. You can manage this module two uh, within the time restraints of the course. So please just use this as a guide to help you. And then when you're working with your teams, so here module one and two is individual work, module three, four, and five are the team case studies. You're doing individual work, but you're doing within the context of a team. Right, so we can, so everyone can get to know each other. And then we go into the actual team final report where we're all contributing to bits and pieces of that report and using each other's strengths and weaknesses. All right, so I hope I've answered your questions here on this. Uh, when you go into this, um, when you're going into module one, if you have any questions along the way, please let me know. If you have any questions for anything within the course, let me know. You will see the prep for the final project here in module one. That is for you to consider what business you're going to work with. If you're really stuck and no one knows anyone that has a business, there are a few things we can do and I can help you with a business uh, for you to work with. So reach out to me through Canvas Inbox and let me know. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm very much looking forward to working with you. Thank you so much.